This presentation gives you the information you need to apply to the respiratory care program. It gets you familiar with what it is like going through the two years of the program. It also gives you some information about your career as a respiratory therapist. You, this is a two-year Associate of Science program. You graduate with an AS degree in respiratory care. After graduation, you take two exams and then you become a registered respiratory therapist. There are two full-time faculty in the program. There are also paid clinic instructors that stay with you in the hospital and guide your learning and experience at the hospital. The Broward College Respiratory Care Program is accredited by the Commission on Accreditation for Respiratory Care, COARC. The program has been in existence since 1968 and has earned an excellent reputation in the community for graduating high quality respiratory therapists. More than 90% of our students that graduate from our program find employment in our local hospitals as well as throughout the country. A respiratory therapist functions as a member of the healthcare team in the hospital setting and is responsible for maintaining a patient's airway and breathing. Being able to breathe is a life function that may require several types of treatments. If a patient is not breathing, it becomes necessary to use different techniques to breathe for them. Bag valve mask ventilation is used for a few minutes until a tube can be placed in the trachea. Once this tube, and we call this an endotracheal tube. So once this tube is correctly placed in the trachea, the patient can be attached to a ventilator that can breathe for them. It's important to ensure the tube is placed in the trachea. If the trachea is missed, the tube will be accidentally placed in the esophagus and air will enter the stomach. A person can die after four minutes of not receiving oxygenated air into their lungs. Another way a respiratory therapist ensures a patient is breathing is by using a ventilator. A respiratory therapist receives extensive training using machines called ventilators that breathe for someone. The ventilators are high technology devices that are used with the following. First, newborn babies that were born prematurely and their lungs are not fully development, developed. Um, secondly, children who are post-surgery or critically ill um, and it has affected the normal functioning of their lungs, such as heart transplant patients. And third, for adults who have stopped breathing or adults in severe respiratory distress who need assistance with their breathing. Ventilator training occurs in the respiratory labs during the second and third semester of the program. Once the student can demonstrate that they have learned the concepts of mechanical ventilation, they are assigned to ventilator patients in the hospital, in the critical care units, as well as in the long-term care units. Respiratory therapists deliver medication to a patient's airway by utilizing devices that can change a liquid into a mist that can be inhaled. Several types of devices are used for this purpose. A respiratory therapist can also evaluate a patient's response to therapy by listening to their breath sounds, observing their breathing pattern, taking their vital signs, and by measuring the amount of oxygen in their blood. A new technology for delivering additional oxygen to a patient is called high flow oxygen therapy. The student in the photo on the right is learning how to set up the equipment for high flow oxygen therapy. A very fast flow of warm humidified oxygen is delivered through the patient's nose. This fast flow of air creates a positive pressure, which then improves the oxygenation. This is more effective than many other oxygen devices. An important part of treating a patient with lung disease or with other diseases that lead to a patient feeling short of breath is to look in the patient's medical record and evaluate the information. Knowing the chest x-rays, the lab values, and other information about the patient's history helps in the decision making for determining what the proper care of the patient should be. 
A respiratory therapist also spends part of their day teaching patients and their families about lung disease, how best to achieve a more comfortable way of breathing, or they teach patients and families about the equipment and other respiratory care modalities. A respiratory therapist draws blood from the artery. This is the blood vessel that pulsates. Arterial blood comes directly from the lungs, so it becomes the best way to evaluate if the lungs are providing enough oxygen and getting rid of excess carbon dioxide in the blood. Another procedure performed by a respiratory therapist is a pulmonary function test. While using sophisticated equipment, the patient is instructed to perform a deep breath and a fast exhalation. Information is collected that can diagnose whether a patient has lung disease. A typical assignment for a respiratory therapist at the hospital is to be assigned to four to six patients on ventilators or require, requiring other types of breathing treatments in the intensive care unit. If the respiratory therapist is assigned to the med surge floors, their typical patient load is treating around 12 patients that have lung diseases or other issues. Although most respiratory therapists are employed in the critical care areas of the hospital, such as the newborn intensive care unit, the adult intensive care unit, the pediatric intensive care unit, there are other areas where a respiratory therapist may be assigned to work, such as the emergency department or the medical surgical floors in the hospital. Outside of the hospital, some respiratory therapists are employed in pulmonary rehab centers or in long-term care centers. A respiratory therapist is part of the air transport team and assists in bringing patients from other hospitals or other states, countries, to the hospital where they are employed. Respiratory therapists can also be part of the ECMO team. Um, this requires special training at the hospital where you help a person um, breathe by taking care of a machine that circulates blood outside the body, oxygenates the blood, and then sends the blood back into the body. So you become an ECMO specialist. The base pay for a respiratory therapist starting out in their career is approximately $24 an hour up to $30 an hour as their base pay. Uh, there's also additional pay added for night shift and additional pay for working weekend hours. A typical work week for a respiratory therapist is three 12 hour shifts per week. Currently, hospitals in Broward County are experiencing a great shortage of respiratory therapists. Um, this is happening here in the county as well as throughout the country. Uh, it makes for a great employment outlook for future respiratory therapists. Upon graduation from the program and successful completion of the two national exams that qualify you to become a registered respiratory therapist, other opportunities become available to advance your career. Successful completion of the NPS, the Neonatal Pediatric Specialist um, exam, earns you the credential RRT NPS. Successful completion of the first year of working in critical care in the hospital qualifies you for the critical care specialist exam. This exam earns you the credential of RRT ACCS. It is no longer enough to have an AS degree in healthcare. Although the AS degree is great for getting you into a position at the hospital and earning money, it is by no means a stopping point in your career. A bachelor's degree is needed to remain competitive in today's labor market. Most schools that offer the AS to baccalaureate degree have all online courses, so you can finish at your own pace while working full time in your career. There are a few programs in the country that offer a master's degree in respiratory therapy. Therapists with a master's degree can evaluate and treat respiratory patients under the direction of a physician, similar to the function of a physician assistant. 
A master's degree is required for teaching respiratory care full-time at the university. Respiratory therapy is also a great career for preparing you for other professional degrees. So if you are interested in going into PA school or medical school, having a degree as a registered respiratory therapist is great preparation for that. The following slides outline the respiratory care program requirements and admission criteria. The respiratory therapist is required to pull and push heavy objects, as well as assist in moving patients to and from stretchers, wheelchairs, or beds. They are required to position patients and assist in lifting, moving, and restraining patients. The respiratory therapist is required to stand and walk for extended periods of time and must be able to bend, stoop, kneel, and run. Hearing must be sufficient to hear and evaluate breath sounds and heart sounds and identify various monitors, alarms, and voices typically heard in the hospital setting. A complete list of technical standards are listed on the program website. Admissions criteria for the program. Um, the program begins once each year in August. Um, in order to apply to the program, you need to have a minimum grade point average of 2.5 in the prerequisite courses before getting into the program. The prerequisite courses need to be completed before the application is submitted. The application period opens on March 1st of each year and goes until June 5th of each year. Um, the applications are not um, looked at as first come, first serve. So it doesn't matter if you get your application in on March 1st or June 5th. Applications are processed in the Health Science Admissions Department. Applicants with the highest prerequisite GPA are selected first. These are the courses required to be completed prior to submitting an application to the respiratory care program. If a higher level course is taken and the grade for the higher level course is better than the lower level course, the higher level course will be used to determine the prerequisite GPA for the student's application status. For example, if the student has anatomy and physiology one and received a B in the course, but took anatomy and physiology part two and received an A in that course, the higher grade will be used when computing the prerequisite GPA. So the A from Anatomy and Physiology 2 would be used when computing the prerequisite GPA. If a student has had a higher level chemistry than Chemistry 1032, the higher level chemistry can be substituted for Chemistry 1032, which is a lower level chemistry course for health science students. You will be notified by your Broward College email only um, if you have been accepted into the program. After you have been accepted, there are some other requirements. You will need a physical exam. You will need to take um, American Heart Association, CPR for healthcare providers, and you need to sign up with American Data Bank. They will do a background check and a drug screening with you. All of this needs to be completed within two weeks of being accepted to the program. So the background check and drug screening need to be completed within two weeks of being accepted into the program. The Associate of Science degree in respiratory care is awarded upon completion of the two-year course of study. Graduates are eligible to sit for the NBRC national exams. 
the therapist multiple choice exam, and the clinical simulation exam. The total cost for these two exams is $400. Upon successful completion of both exams, the graduate becomes a registered respiratory therapist. Then a state license is required, and this costs around $105. This is the schedule of courses for the program. After the prerequisite courses are fully completed, an application can be submitted. All of the respiratory courses, um, they have the RET label, must be taken in order. It is not possible to take a term two respiratory course before passing all term one respiratory courses. The general education courses can be taken at any time and do not have to follow the suggested format listed. For example, during term one, medical terminology as well as anatomy and Physi physiology two with the lab are listed. It is highly recommended that the student complete these before starting the respiratory care program. This will make it easier for the student to be successful in the respiratory courses if they have a lighter load during that semester. Clinical courses begin in the second semester of the program. Although the clinical courses show as a three credit course, you will be in the hospital clinical two eight hour days, eight hours on Wednesday and eight hours on Friday every week until the program ends. Usually the clinical hours are from 6.45 in the morning until 3.15 in the afternoon, although on occasion there are some 3 p.m. till 11 p.m. Uh, clinical hours available. Once admitted to the program, it takes 21 months to complete the program. The total estimated cost for the AS degree program is $11,053. Uh, and then the cost of taking the national exams and the state license, around $475. The total cost includes buying books, course and lab fees, hospital uniform, stethoscope, um, the physical exam, and then the background check with certificates. All didactic classes are taught on the North Campus, the Broward College North Campus, which is located in Coconut Creek, Florida. We are in Building 41, the Health Science Building. For the clinical rotations, the rotations are offered at Broward Health Medical Center in Fort Lauderdale, Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood, Florida, Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital also in Hollywood, Florida, Memorial West in Pembroke Pines, and Cleveland Clinic in Weston, Florida. So to contact us or to learn more specific information about the respiratory pro care program, please visit our website, um, broward.edu forward slash respiratory care as one word. Thank you for your time.